white man. I quite like it indeed. Alright then guys, how you doing? You, as usual, find me out here in the garden. Um, it's an overcast, but altogether not too bad. DNA isolation, there you go. The sky is grey, the sky is kind of white actually. But uh, it's not raining, so I can actually get something done today, which is great. So, I had been saying that I want to make something quite a little bit more useful than what I have been making so far. Um, so I thought a weld mask. My weld mask at the moment, it's good, it does everything that I need, it's auto darkening so I can still see as I go, it's got a grind setting, it's a fantastic helmet, it's a fantastic mask, but um, I feel like I need a spare and I think making one would be quite a cool project, especially given the sorry state of affairs of what I've left myself of the last two projects leftovers. So here of course, you see the steel that was left over from the last project, and here I've just got a little bunch of bits that I thought would be quite useful for today. I've got my hard hat with the Deadpool paint job on it. I've got myself some big nuts and bolts. Uh, well, long nuts and bolts, they're not exactly beefy. Um, and here I have four bits of weld glass. And they're not auto darkening, obviously, but it ain't that bad. I'll be able to watch welding without going blind, so that's going to be quite nice. I don't know if you've noticed in the videos, but this much of me beard sticks out underneath me weld mask, which causes quite a fire hazard, since, you know, I'm literally growing a follicle forest on me face. But, if I add some sort of apron or curtain, I don't know the word for it, I'll find out the word for it, um, hanging down, you know, material, leather, preferably, if I can find any leather lying around, there's probably some somewhere, um, and actually protect me beard from catching fire when I'm welding would be fantastic. Alright then, so a little change of plan. Um, I've had some a quick Google search around uh, the old timey weld helmets. Um, and all of the plates are mounted on a box that comes forward from the actual mask itself. So I'm going to make the mask itself and then just cut a hole to mount this onto. Um, I'm going to have it so that it is bolted to the front of the mask so that that's removable for you to be able to change the glass on the inside which will work out quite nice um, so I need to make the mask so that I know how to cut this to have the angle for it to sit flat against a, bent, a curved mask um, for us to then be able to, uh, to mount it sort of tight enough that sparks aren't going to get in and burn my pretty face so I'm going to get on with figuring out which part of this gas bottle I'm going to use to make the mask um, and hopefully I get to do some fun things as I do so. So I quite like the fact that the flammable gas symbol is still shown on here so I think I'm going to incorporate that into the design. Now I do need this angled section of mask made too to keep the sides of my head from catching fire and getting burnt and this already has these cut into it. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll use this section up to the white line as one side. I'll flip it round and use the other side, which is already pre-cut to the same dimensions. Then across the front here, I've just marked out that this is the size of the faceplate I need. So I'm going to cut here, cut here, cut it all off round the top. Um, and once that's done, I should have everything that I need to make a mask. And then all of that remains is to cut the hole in, make the plate to go across the top holding the glass, um, and drill the hole so that I can mount it to the, uh, the old hard hat, which sounds like a pretty quick day, which I'm a fan of right now. I do want to spend time, this is the entire idea behind the project, is to kill a bit of time in isolation, give myself something to do. But um, these big sort of heavy builds, I don't want it to be my daily thing, you know. So let's make a daft little musk. Let's make it look quite cool. I think it'll be good. Time to grind. Hey look Ma, a new angle. Wow, 
One down, three to go. I think it's time to get these welds in. I've got a quick tack on measured against the helm and make sure that it's all going to fit in quite nice. Um, so yeah, we'll get started. So here we have it, the project so far. Quite like the flammable sign is still somewhat visible. So I've reached a bit of a lull in me day, and in me mood mainly, you know. Um, so I'm going to wrap it for today. I'm here. Uh, I think I'll just upload this tomorrow once I've finished part two and I'll just upload it as one video. Um, but I'm going to go in the house and I've got a I've got a mango and I've got some oranges. I'm just going to eat some fruit and watch some watch something funny, really. Um, isolation's hard, you know. I mean, I've got a housemate, so I do have someone to talk to. But uh, there's just there's thousands of things that I want to go and do, and usually in my life I do actually go and do them. Um, I am an active person. If I want something, I just go and get it. Um, so yeah, just a bit bummed out at the moment. Should be all right. Um, just going to go perk myself up, and I'll finish the video tomorrow. Peace, part one. <laughs>